Hello and welcome to Ask Queen Studios. In this series, we answer your questions from social media. So if you do have any questions for us, drop them in the comments now or wait till the end of this video. And if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, so this is a good question. In, uh, in June and July of this year, we took two of our newest life-size busts to Shanghai China Joy and Shanghai Wonder Festival. At the time, we took the grey prototype versions which were unpainted. The main reason for this is we wanted to get your feedback. So we've collected that now and we're going back to the development process. And once we've made those tweaks and changes, we'll start to paint the busts and get ready for the pre-order. When the pre-order starts, I don't know right now. Hopefully we can share some good news very soon. So this question we get quite a lot. Um, we know a lot of people have been talking about why so many Iron Man. Well, the main reason why is because we've got a series planned for the whole year. Um, once we've completed most of the statues from that series, we're going to start developing more of our uh, newer statues from the other characters from Infinity War and Endgame. Hopefully by the end of 2021, we'll have some more characters on the way which, that you'll, which you'll like. For example, Thor, hopefully quarter scale, maybe in other scales, you'll have to wait and see. And definitely as we roll into 2022, you'll see more quarter scale statues, more half scale, and even some impressive busts. So recently we answered another question similar to this on Facebook and it got a lot of Terminator fans excited. Will we be making another Terminator 2 statue or a bust, anything like that? Um, to answer right now, it's not 100% sure. Our CEO and our art director are both Terminator fans, so we'd love to do it. The reason why we haven't is because our original license is mainly for China. If we do get a new license for this movie franchise, we want to make sure it's global so all of the fans around the world can order. So if you guys show us a lot of support and we can persuade the team to do it, then maybe next year, the year after, we could follow up with some more statues. So this is another question that we get quite a lot. Harley Quinn is obviously a popular character, especially from the Suicide Squad movies. We'd love to do a third scale or even a quarter scale. We actually do have some planned and we're working on those concepts right now. Timing is everything, we just need to make sure the concept is right and everything falls into place. We know some other studios have done a good job, so we've got to uh, live up to your expectations and we're going to continue to work on that in the background. Okay, so we get this question asked quite a lot by a few guys in particular, both on the Facebook group and in the Facebook page. Also, same guys on Instagram. We really want to make a Superman bust, um, also maybe some more statues as well. The reason why we haven't is just timing. We've been working on a lot of different projects at the moment and we want to make sure those are complete before we bring out the Superman bust. Hopefully by the end of this year, sometime early next year, we'll be able to make it happen and we, haven't, we know we have an audience, and we know we have a lot of people interested. So we're gonna work hard and make sure it happens. Okay, so the classic Batman, Keaton, and um, the Joker, we know there's a lot of demand for that, especially in the USA, especially in Europe, where the early films were popular. Unfortunately, at the moment, our license is mainly for China, where those movies weren't really popular at the time. The Dark Knight onwards is very popular, so we've not really had the demand in the domestic market so far. However, once our licensing expands, if there's a demand there, we'll definitely look into it again. But again, that comes down to licensing rights. Can we get Keaton's approval? Also, um, the other actors from the movies, can we get their approval? We'll definitely look into it and hopefully once we expand our licensing, we can make it happen. 
Okay, so the Iron Man Mark 85 statue has been planned for this year. Um, so far, there's been a few delays in the development for this statue. So we'll make sure in 2022, he will be released. So Ronnie Stark, if you're listening, he's on the way. Okay, so this is a really good question and we've tried to answer as best we could in the group before. So essentially, when it comes down to making these collectibles, how we make them are in batches. And I think that's very common for other studios to do. So they're not mass produced statues or busts. We have to make them in small batches and there's lots of different reasons why. Um, one of the main ones is definitely to make sure we can control the quality and also inspect each one once they're made. So this question is usually coming from because it's not clear on when each batch will ship. So what we actually do is we ship the first batch to China. And the reason why that is, is because if there's any issues with the first batch, any small defects, any small problems, it's easy to recall it. Once there's a problem and it's on the sea to the, U to the EU, to the USA, um, for our future licenses, then it's really difficult to recall. So it's better to start with China first and then from batch two onwards, we'll send around to the different countries where we have the licenses for. Again, Excellent question. And this is something that we need to improve on as a, a team, as a company. We need to upload and share our up-to-date shipping schedules. And the reason why we don't is because it does depend on the progress and the uh, batch system. So if there's a small delay, we'd have to keep changing the times and the dates. And it's not always easy to predict in advance. So for right now, we're just doing a lot of analysis of the timings, trying to figure things out. Once we do that, once we know what we're doing in terms of, okay, this is a certain time, we can start to release updates and we will add them to our website. But what we don't want to do is just keep sending emails or uploading things and changing it all the time. We want to make sure that once it's ready, it's ready. If you do have something on order and you're wondering where it is, the best thing to do is speak to the company or the person you bought from and get them to get an update. They'll be getting frequent updates on when things are shipping, if there's any delays, anything like that. At the moment, one of the big issues for our international customers is shipping and freight. The whole global freight economy at the moment is really in flux right now. So that's also having an impact on shipping times. Okay, so for this one, the Joker mask, we've made a few additional tweaks and changes based on some customer and collector feedback. And with Wonder Woman on schedule, so both are expected to ship by the end of this year. So Q4, all being well. Okay, so we do get this question asked a lot because a lot of fans and collectors, they want to see what's new, what's coming up. Luckily, in China, some of our biggest licensed partners are Disney and Warner Brothers. So far, they've done a great job in helping us to expand our licensing, and hopefully we can do that in 2022. Um, within Disney and Warner Brothers, there's lots of incredible movie franchises that we've talked about before, such as The Matrix, Lord of the Rings, and there could be more from Disney as well. So stay tuned for 2022 and hopefully we can make it happen. Okay, thanks for watching Ask Queen Studios. So if you do have any questions for us, you know what to do, drop them in the comments below and we'll answer as many as we can next time. Maybe next time will be a live show, maybe it will be pre-recorded. We'll see what we can do. But don't forget to subscribe to our Facebook page or subscribe to our YouTube and click that notification bell. See you next time.